Welcome to this short video on corneal scraping. Take a look at these pictures. Probably many of you can make a calculated guess about the causative organism. But is a clinical picture always enough? And to test this hypothesis, a study was conducted in 2012 in association with Arvin I Systems in which 15 cornea specialists were shown 80 pictures of infectious keratitis. And the conclusion? It again highlighted the importance of microbiological tests. Indications for corneal smear and culture are a large more than 1 mm central corneal infiltrate with significant stromal involvement or melting, a chronic or unresponsive infection, a typical clinical feature suggestive of fungal, amoebic or mycobacterial keratitis, history of previous corneal surgeries, and corneas with multiple infiltrates. Before going into detail, let's go through the general principles of scraping. If possible, withdraw antimicrobial agents for 24 hours, use anesthetic drops that do not contain preservatives, use a new blade to take each specimen, in case of a suspected fungal or amoebic infection, take sample from deeper stromal layer of cornea. The requirements for corneal scraping are wire speculum. It's optional. It's generally used in cases of corneal trauma. Just before we start suturing the corneal wound, we can take the sample. Proparacane, 0.5% eye drops because it has the least inhibitory effect on microbes. Kimura spatula or Bart Parker surgical blade number 15. Two glass lights, one for gram stain and one for KOH wet mount, that is potassium hydroxide wet mount. Culture medias, basic culture medias used are blood agar, which is used for aerobic bacteria, chocolate agar, essential for growth of hemophilus, and seborrheic dextrous agar. It's a non selective media used for fungus. Now, optional medias can be used for atypical cases like brain heart infusion, it's for liquid media, thioglycolate broth, it's for aerobic and anaerobic bacteria, good for anaerobic bacteria, Thier Martin media, it's for specifically for Neisseria gonorrhea, Lovenstein Jensen media for non tuberculous mycobacteria, and non nutrient agar with over overlay of E. coli, it's specifically used for identification of acanthamoeba. Now in cases of corneal ulcers suspected to be because of contact lens, the contact lens is removed with a sterile glove and is placed in a culture media. Take swabs from contact lens cases. Cultures from contact lens and case help us to identify the source of infection and in some cases causative organism as well. These other instruments, number 15 surgical plate and handle, then two glass slides, cover slip, chocolate agar, blood agar, and sabros dextrose agar for growth of fungus, and a 10% KOH solution. After explaining the procedure to the patient, two drops of paracaine is instilled into the eye and the patient is positioned comfortably on the slit lamp. Hold the eyelids apart and start scraping. Take the scrap materials from the edge and the base of the ulcer. Keep the blade perpendicular to cornea so as to avoid going deep into the corneal stroma. Then fungal sample, tap it on the glass light, smear for gram stain. blood agar, mix these tricks with the sample, change the blade, 
again take more sample from the eye and inoculate into blood agar and sabrot dextrous agar For identification of fungus, 10% KOH drop is put on the glass slide covered with a cover slip. Nicely label the glass slide with the patient's MRD number. For gram stain, the glass slide is marked from below and labeled with patient's MRD number. At the end of the procedure, the patient is given instruction in appropriate care, that is, hand washing, lid hygiene, and installation of an antibiotic. All specimens are clearly and correctly labeled before being sent to the microbiological lab. The take home message is infectious keratitis is potentially site threatening condition. Clinical characteristics and patient history can guide us but will not provide an accurate diagnosis. The most valuable information regarding the causative organism comes from direct culture of the involved site. Corneal scraping and smear preparation can be done easily as an outpatient procedure which can save valuable time and improve patient management. These are the references and thank you for watching.